Hello everyone, I'm Daniela Duca and I'm a product manager for Sage Texty. Sage Texty is a tool or an application to help you clean and pre-process text for further text analysis. We've developed this tool uh, with the uh, workflow in mind. So the first screen that you land on has um, really three parts. One part on the left-hand side has all the cleaners uh, that we've added so far. So if, um, you'll see here in the drop-downs. As you hover over, um, We've uh, added a bit of uh, an information toolkit, uh, tooltip to, ha to help you figure out what exactly those um, cleaners do. In the middle, you've got the workflow. And in this case, I've already added two steps to my workflow. And on the right-hand side, you have your original document with the extracted text preview. So in this case, I have a, a speech from the European Commission. I've removed some of the punctuation. I stripped the, the new lines. Um, I've removed the punctuation because maybe I don't want to um, convert this text into sentences and I only want to analyze the words. So in this case, I'll remove the digits as well and um, I can go here in, and in my preview and see if there's anything else I want to do. Uh, perhaps I want to uh, do everything lowercase so I can select that as well. Um, and once I'm pretty happy with it, I might um, need to check whether my uh, text is all right. And so we've added an analysis step. This is pretty basic and it really just gives you a word cloud. Um, and in this word cloud, I can see that I've got some um, dashes, which actually I want to remove. So if I go back on my pipeline, I can see that these dashes are somewhere in here. Here's one example. I copy it and then I want to see if there is a cleaner that can help me that. And there is, it's a remove custom pattern. and in this particular cleaner, you can actually enter the pattern that you want to remove. In this case, I just want to remove the dashes. And once I'm happy, I click update and that should remove them from my text. Uh, to double check, I'm going to go in the analysis step and see uh, how my word cloud looks. Quite all right. Um, that's great. So now that I'm pretty happy with what I have and I know there are no weird symbols in my text, I might want to download this extracted text. So you can click on download. You'd need to register in order to be able to do that. Um, it's relatively easy to create an account and it's free at the moment. Um, and I have an account, so I'll just show you what happens. Um, the file uh, downloads as a text file and you can also open it um, to check it out. At this point I'm only going to download it. Now now that I've done this and I have my workflow, I could share my workflow with colleagues and so they've, they, they'll be taken to this particular one that I built uh, with the, uh, the sample file that we have in here. Um, just note that if you share the workflow it won't uh, share the file so um, your colleagues might need to add their own file um, or alternatively the other thing you can do is let's say if you want to try a different file um, you can upload um, a pdf or txt or you can enter a url and do some basic scraping so let's enter a url and see how that goes i've opened these political speeches um, and let's pick one uh, from 2011 uh, here it is it has a bunch of new lines and white spaces. So I'm going to enter the URL in here, click enter, and then it takes me to my pipeline. And I can see here, um, it already removed the spaces, it removed um, punctuation, which I've done before, remove digits, uh, put everything in lowercase, um, and remove this custom pattern, which isn't in there, I presume. So if I wanted to, I could just uh, remove that step and it probably wouldn't do anything. So um, I can click here to download this full text as well if I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and um, so can you. Um, le let us know what you think and please do go ahead and try um, the workflow.